This video was made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended 14-day trial, check out huluplus.com slash TOT. What's up, tech fans? Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, the end of the year is approaching really quick here, and one of the biggest questions that always comes up in the gaming community is, of course, what is your pick for game of the year, or even what are your top five picks? And that's exactly what this video is about. Now, just to be clear, these are my top five personal favorite PC games to come out this year that are big name titles. I'm not trying to say that these are objectively the best games. I'm not trying to say that I've played every PC game out there, and these are definitely the best ones. I'm just listing out my personal favorites that I want to share with you guys, so if you haven't played them, you should check them out. Now, another thing about me is that I I am really, really bad at picking favorites. And while picking five is easier than picking one, ranking them from first to fifth is just even worse for me. So I'm just not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna tell you guys my top five favorite games, no particular order, so let's go ahead and check out that list right now. So to kick things off, I'm gonna go ahead and just cheat just a little bit here by listing a game that is technically DLC, but it is standalone and worth every penny of its $15 price tag, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. What you do is you take the solid gameplay and terrain design from one of my favorite games of last year, Far Cry 3, kick out the multiplayer and add in a parody-focused storyline that keeps you laughing and grinning the whole way through. Now, as a warning, how much you can enjoy this game is heavily reliant on your knowledge of 80s action movies and cartoons, but there is a healthy number of flat-out gaming jokes too to round these out if you have no idea what's going on. Throw in some new weapons and some bloodthirsty dinosaurs, and the fact that the game doesn't require Far Cry 3 at all to play it, and you have a standalone FPS worth picking up not just for the action, but also the comedy. Honestly guys, I can't emphasize enough the fact that for 15 bucks this game is really worth picking up. You should really just give it a shot or even try picking it up if you ever see it on sale because then it's just easily worth it. Now, next up, I'm still cheating a little bit. This game is actually an expansion for another title where you do have to have both, but it adds enough single player content and redesigns the multiplayer enough to be on par with many games that are released on a yearly basis, and that is StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. Featuring the loved RTS multiplayer mode of the series with a new chapter in the campaign that runs a great balance of traditional RTS with more simple top-down RPG mechanics, with plenty of special units and content to help make the experience of the single player very unique compared to the multiplayer. Whether you're a skilled player looking to actively compete online or just a novice looking for a solid and generally flat out fun single player campaign, then this one is worth the purchase, even if you have to go out of your way to grab Wings of Liberty first. Now the next three games on the list are all actual brand new fully released titles, no more DLC, no more expansions, I promise. And the first one is one that I think a lot of people are having a hard time leaving out of their top five lists, and that's Bioshock Infinite. Featuring a new story and setting with a healthy number of nods to the first game, Infinite is in many ways the sequel to Bioshock that many of us had been waiting for. Giving the main character a voice, personality, and companion, alongside some new mechanics and a well-written though at times super convoluted story, and placing it in a beautiful city in the skies, helped to make this title a favorite for many this year, with some particularly zealous fans going so far to say decade. While I'm not too sure about that myself, I still have to say that Bioshock Infinite is a fantastic single-player FPS title, worthy of your time if you have yet to experience it. Now, the next game on the list is one that's going to seem like a bit of a curveball for some of you, and that's probably because you've either never tried the game or never tried its predecessor, and that's Rayman Legends. Now, this one follows up the amazing Rayman Origins. Legends continues to prove that lighthearted, silly platforming can still not only be fun, but also rewarding, challenging, and that 2D-styled cartoonistic games can still be just as gorgeous as a title struggling to be photorealistic. It can prove to be a challenging experience to fully complete if you're going at it alone. While taking its multiplayer might lighten the burden, but result in an overall hilarious and fun co-op adventure. Now, if you're the kind of person that just saw that gameplay and thought to yourself, why the hell would I want to play something so childish? All I gotta say is, I feel sorry for you, because you're missing out on one of the most potent, concentrated forms of happiness I have ever seen in a video game. Really, you need to actually give it a shot. If you don't want to put down the 40 bucks for this one, try out Origins first. It's only 20, worth every penny. Now, last but not least on the list is a game that definitely caught me off guard the most this year. Not that I expected it to be a bad game, just that I didn't expect to find myself loving it as much as I did, and that is the reboot of Tomb Raider. Now, I will admit, the game starts off a little shaky because it looks like it's just going to be a quick time event marathon, but then the rest of the game just opens up to have this great exploration and platforming combined with solid third-person shooter and melee combat mechanics. Add on to this great visuals, a solid story, and puzzles that while shorter in supply than I'd like, make for some fantastic side quest content. 
The multiplayer experience it offers is nothing to rave about, but it does nothing to detract from how great the single player game turned out to be. Like I said, this game caught me completely off guard. I remember seeing a lot of the early on previews for it and gameplay thinking, okay, new Tomb Raider, that might be fun, I'll give it a shot. Once I got my hands on it, I absolutely fell in love with the single player campaign. Totally worth picking up. So those are my top five personally favorite PC big name titles to come out this year. If a game that you love didn't make the list, it's either because I had the unfortunate luck of not checking it out and missing out on the fun, or it just didn't make the cut for me personally. So let us know in the comments Comments. Let us know what your pick for Game of the Year is, or even a full top five list if you want to. Now I know that when I'm in between playing lots of games, one of the biggest activities I like to do that I share with friends and other gamers in total is I love to binge watch some of my favorite completed shows, or catch up on currently airing ones that I've just been falling behind on. And the main site I use for that is Hulu Plus. Now a lot of you have probably watched something on Hulu, but not all of you have tried Hulu Plus, which just gives you way more benefits. If you feel like taking a break from your computer desk but still want to watch a show, you can do it either streaming in HD on your TV using one of numerous devices on the market, or even partably in your hand with a tablet or smartphone with the Hulu Plus app. On top of that, you'll get access to shows not available on regular Hulu, including older seasons of big hit classics, or Hulu exclusive original programs such as The Wrong Man's or Behind the Mask. Now if you want to give it a shot, Hulu was awesome enough to get us a special deal for our fans to try out, an extended 14 day free trial which you can grab by going to huluplus.com TOT. Make sure you use that link so they know you heard about it from us, and so you can get that free trial that lasts twice as long as the norm. So thanks for checking out my list of my top five personal favorite big name PC games to come out this year. Please make sure to let us know in the comments what your picks are, because there were a lot of games to come out this year, and a lot I'm sure that you guys loved that I just didn't mention. Once again, I'd like to thank Hulu Plus for helping make this vid possible. Please remember to check out that 14 day trial we have in the description. We've also posted links to all the games I talked about, so if there's one you saw that interested you, you could check them out there. While you're down there, please make sure to hit that like button to let us know how you've been enjoying this content. If you're not a subscriber yet, then you should become one, because we have a whole nother year of great content planned for you. Until next time, I'm Kevin for Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll see you later.